नमस्कार टुडे वी विल स्टडी ग्लूकोज अपटेक असे वी नो ग्लूकोज इज वन वाटर सोल्यूबल मॉलिक्यूल सो इट नीड्स ए कैरियर टू एंटर इनटू द सेल एंड दैट कैरियर इज कॉल्ड ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्टर और इन शॉर्ट इट इज कॉल्ड एज ग्लूट जी एल यू टी जी एल यू स्टैंड फॉर ग्लूकोज टी फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टर ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्टर इज द कैरियर हुई ट्रांसपोर्ट ग्लूकोज सो ग्लूकोज वन बाइंड टू द ग्लूट द ग्लूट विल प्लेस द ग्लूकोज इन टू द सेल एंड वी नो ग्लूकोज इज द सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी एंड बाई ग्लाइकोलिसिस एंड क्रेप साइकिल इट प्रोवाइड्स ए टी पी और एनर्जी एंड how this glute is synthesized and recruited uh, on the cell membrane that is by insulin so insulin receptor is a, a tyrosine kinase linked receptor uh, tyrosine kinase linked receptor which follows the ras raf pathway so when two insulin molecules bind there will be autophosphorylation of the beta sub unit uh, or the tyrosine kinase un uh, units so that phosphate is transferred to the ras which is bound to gdp guanosine diphosphate by the growth factor uh, receptor bound protein which is a gdp gtp exchange protein so gdp is exchanged with gtp now and uh, now that phosphate is transferred to raf the, uh, then that uh, raf then transfers it to mac mac then transfers it to map kinase which enters into the cell and uh, um, activates the insulin response uh, elements which regulates the gene transcription uh, of many enzymes involved in uh, glucose uh, metabolism that is uh, gluconeogenesis uh, glycogenesis glycogenolysis in addition to them it also synth synthesizes and recruit glucose transporter on the cell membrane so in this way insulin uh, helps in glucose transport Uh, through this glut so when we uh, who assay glucose uptake then uh, th this principle we utilize in this glucose uptake assay so whenever we give a drug whether it is uh, increasing or decreasing glucose uptake that we can measure through this assay so it can have applications like this, say we want to study one plant extract or any other new drug uh whether it is uh, doing any glucose uptake or not then this method can be done and uh, that means whether glucose is entering into the cell or not that we can evaluate similarly in cancer cells the glucose uptake is increased so that we can uh, also uh, screen uh, and cells exhibiting insulin resistance uh, uh, in in those cases if there will be insulin resistance then no glucose uptake will be there so there is no glucose uptake in case of cells exhibiting insulin resistance so all these things are the applications of this glucose uptake assay so all the cell signaling studies we can do uh, through this glucose uptake assay wherever glucose uptake is involved so what we do we we use a glucose analog which which is not undergoing the metabolism glucose usually undergoes metabolism uh, uh, the process of glycolysis and krebs cycle are there but we need to take another analog of glucose which is uh, not metabolized inside so we have two analogs one is to nbdg and the other is to dg to nbdg the full form is uh, n7 nitrobenz 2 oxa 13 diazole 4 il amino 2 deoxy glucose and this molecule is much larger than glucose and because of this it is not transported in the same way as glucose and hence may not be an accurate indicator of glucose transporter activity so not used nowadays and the most ideal and widely used analog is 2 deoxy glucose a simple molecule structurally similar to glucose so most of the methods they use this 2 deoxy glucose so
सो द ग्लूकोज ऑप्टिक एसे मेथड्स कैन यूज टू डी ऑक्सी ग्लूकोज और टू एन बी डी जी एंड यूजिंग टू डी जी और टू डी ऑक्सी ग्लूकोज वी कैन हैव फोर डिफरेंट मेथड्स कोलोरीमेट्रिक एसे रेडियो एक्टिव एसे लोमिनेशन एसे फ्लोरेशन एसे ऑल दिज मेथड्स यूज दिस प्रिंसिपल वेर दी टू डी ऑक्सी ग्लूकोज इज फसफोरेटेड टू टू डी ऑक्सी ग्लूकोज सिक्स फसफेट and it is not further metabolized it gets accumulated there two dioxy glucose six phosphate gets accumulated there uh, unlike your glucose uh, glucose is metabolized to glucose six phosphate then it, it is further metabolized whereas two dioxy glucose is not further metabolized and uh, uh, then it helps in conversion of uh, nadp to nadph so there will be generation of nadph and this nadph by use of different reagents we can generate probes uh, for different types of assay mainly colorimetric luminescence and fluorescence all these uh, uh, have same principle with uh, with uh, uh, different reagents here uh, which can react with nadph and um, uh, in colorimetric assay we can use uh, plain 2 dioxy glucose whereas uh, we can uh, tag uh, Uh, fluorescent tagged uh, uh, 2 dioxy glucose we can use in fluorescent assay similarly in luminescent assay also we can use uh, luminescent uh, tagged 2 uh, dioxy glucose but in radioactive assay we can uh, take uh, you know one um, radio isotope tagged so here uh, usually you use h3 h3 Two uh, dg. So, in in the in the radioactive assay, we can use this one. So there will be conversion into uh, S three two dioxy glucose six phosphate, and that we can uh, measure through radioactive uh, assay method. So by uh, scintillation counter, we can uh, measure this radioisotope. Using two uh, NBDG uh, fluorescent assay method is used, where fluorescently tagged two NBDG uh, is used, which is accumulated inside the cell. But the major disadvantage with uh, the, this method is uh, this. Uh, um, in this case, because of the larger size, uh, uh, not transported in the same way as glucose, so may not be. an accurate indicator of glucose transport activity so we can rule out this method now we, uh, the most commonly used method is this widely used method is this colorimetric assay and the radioactive assay method is also good method but uh, there is uh, uh, there is uh, disadvantage of radioactive hazard uh, so we will discuss these two methods so first uh, let us discuss this colorimetric assay where uh, uh, we we take two dioxy glucose this is a uh, simple simple method and uh, two dioxy glucose which is a structural analog of uh, glucose that uh, will be obtained by glute into the uh, into the cell and inside the cell this 2 dioxy glucose will be converted to 2 dioxy glucose 6 uh, phosphate uh, by the enzyme hexokinase and then by glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase it is uh, converted to 6 phosphate dioxy glucose and <coughs> this glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase uh, converts nadp nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate uh, to nadph uh, uh, hydrogenase and uh, uh, this uses one recycling enzymatic amplification system uh, where uh, we can measure this nadph so this nadph when uh, um, uh, when um, reverses to nadp and there will be uh, uh, use of glutathione reductase for where there will be formation of glutathione and this glutathione in presence of uh, elmans reagent or 5 5' diethylbis 2 nitrobenzoic acid or dtnb 
will be converted to 5 mercap to 2 nitrobenzoic acid and we can uh, measure the absorbance at 420 nanometer so we can take the any adipocyte adipose uh, cell uh, for this uh, colorimetric assay and uh, we can measure uh, two deoxyglucose 6 phosphate through this recycling enzymatic amplification system uh, where the absorbance is measured at 420 nanometer and this method is uh, sensitive can detect very low 2 deoxyglucose 6 phosphate and it is non radioactive uh, however the disadvantage is it, it uh, requires multiple sample preparation steps and it has narrow window of detection then let us discuss this uh, uh, radioactive assay uh, here we can take 3t3l1 cells uh, where we will add uh, uh, this uh, uh, radioisotope labeled 2 deoxyglucose s3 2 dg which is converted to uh, corresponding 6 uh, phosphate uh, which gets accumulated and then we can add the scintillation liquid to measure this radioisotope labeled 2 deoxyglucose 6 phosphate by liquid scintillation counter and from that we can analyze the glucose uptake activity and uh, that will tell us the effect of the test drug on glucose uptake activity so this method though it is uh, sensitive but uh, the disadvantage is it requires uh, um, multiple wash steps and it also requires uh, handling and disposal of radioactive material so there is every risk of radioactive hazard so researchers want to avoid this so the most commonly used method is the colorimetric assay and uh, uh, here we use this agent reagent uh, dtnb and uh, other reagents can be used for uh, uh, luminescence assay and uh, this uh, fluorometric assay so this is all about uh, glucose uptake assay and and accordingly uh, wherever glucose uptake is there or wherever insulin like activity is there we can uh, assay them through this uh, assay we can evaluate them or screen them through this assay thank you